stop lying to yourself. A little bit of an interesting topic or conversation to maybe have. And I don't necessarily have it so bluntly when I'm face to face with folks, but I want you to really think about this. Take a good look in the mirror, see who's looking back. Are we the type of person that we are where we're at today because of the circumstances life has dealt us? If you're an adult, you can change those circumstances. You can make choices to get out of a bad situation. You can make choices to put yourself in good situations. You can change maybe just how you look at the situation. But stop lying to yourself. If you are not honest with yourself, then you cannot build a foundation for growth. You need to look in the mirror, take responsibility. If you're in a bad relationship, you have to take ownership of what part you contribute to that or why you allow yourself to be in that relationship. It doesn't matter if it's in business, if it's personally, what type, what it is. You need to find a way to be very truthful and honest about the situation and the things that you're dealing with in life. I'll go back and tell a little bit of a story when I was young and growing up and going to school. I have some learning disabilities. And so I was labeled and it wasn't necessarily spoken and I'm not, not trying to cast the negative on anybody that watches this that seen me or was part of my experience in school. I'm simply sharing this as a growing tool of what I have learned from experiences I've gone through. But I, I was not a good student in school. I had learning disabilities and I was the dumb kid. If we were gonna vote who was the most likely to fail at life, nobody needed to take that vote in the school. We knew it was me. And then as I get through school, after flunking some years, they finally just let me move on out and get away from that prison that I felt at that time of my life. I then get a job and I had to go work for somebody who knew me from my school experience, or it was highly recommended, and that's kind of the path I was directed because they understood me and how I thought. Even though I had offers for higher pay at other, at other companies, I was directed this way because they understood me. And it started to weigh on me as I kept getting older. And in my early teens, it put me in a very depressed, dark state. But at some point, I had to take ownership of where I was at. I was either going to continue down this road and be the village idiot, or I could untap the potential I knew I had, learn a new way to learn and become educated. It was the two choices I had. So I took the choice that I was gonna take responsibility, do what I needed to do to educate myself, learn the skills and the things I needed to better my life. And it came with not only a, a, a lot of self-reflecting, but a lot of honesty. I could blame a lot of people. I could blame it on I lost my dad when I was 15 years old, but that did not affect what I chose to do each day. I could blame it on that maybe the church I was in, some of those folks didn't maybe treat me the way I felt I deserved to be treated. But the fact was I still made a choice each day how I was gonna live my life and how I was gonna move forward and treat others. So I started to take that step. I found some accountability partners, but I kept looking back in the mirror and I kept telling myself the truth. At some point in my early 20s, I started to hear comments because I would talk to myself in a very positive manner. And even though inside, most times I was shaking, didn't have any idea how I was gonna pull this off, I was making statements and telling myself how great I was. And then I started hearing comments that I'm cocky and I'm arrogant. And then the phrase would come to me, but if I back it up, I'm not that. But over the years, I've learned how to maybe publicly not say that because I don't need to, but I needed at that point in my life to publicly put statements out there that sounded arrogant because I needed the public to hold me accountable, even though it was a harsh way to do it possibly, that I had to live up to what I, my statement was to accomplish those tasks and those goals. It comes back to statements that I have talked about and I do with clients a lot. Be careful how you talk to yourself. You need to believe in yourself first. 
You need to tell yourself the truth so that you can see yourself for who you are and then put a plan together to become who you want to become. It's very important to be honest. If it were not for that experience I went through, which I thought was so dehabilitating and so hard when I was a teenager and even before, if it were not for that experience, I would not have the success I have today. I would not be able to help the folks I help today. But all of that happened just because I was honest with myself. Now, it's been a process. It's still a process. And I still have to talk to myself very openly and honestly. I talked a little bit about looking in the mirror and being honest with yourself. And there's a person that has exemplified this better than anyone I know. And we've probably, many of you have heard of David Goggins and the story he's gone through. And he calls that mirror the accountability mirror. And that if you don't look in that mirror every day and hold yourself accountable, then you will not become successful in the manner that you need to. I challenge you that you look in that mirror, use his accountability mirror to hold yourself accountable. Don't tell yourself things like, well, I'm just a victim of the situation because you're not. You're in that situation because you allow it. Yes, many things as adolescents happen sometimes that put us in a framework to work through other things. But you alone are responsible for where you're at and for your success and to be honest with yourself. Please don't lie to yourself.